Hello and welcome to the future, some may say, of virtual reality and multiplayer combat games. So if you imagine the future and where we will be eventually, such as in armor, squad, games like that, we'll all be playing in virtual reality. Take my word for it. Take Uncle Para's word for it in the future. Oh, look at that down there. We will all be playing war games and the majority of games in virtual reality. Currently, personally, from being an early adopter for the Vive, I don't think we're quite there yet. The resolution and the processing power in order to be able to get 2K and 4K high-res graphics is, is beyond our reach currently. But anyway, Onward is a game that piqued my interest and I, I was promised to get a press key. It never came through and I can't seem to get hold of the guy. So I put this money down. So yes, I paid for this. So it's going to be an unbiased version to this. I, As I mentioned in my other videos, if I don't like something, I'll tell you. If I like it, I'll tell you. That's the way it is. I think all reviewers or content creators out there should be honest about the quality of the games that they actually get. So let's jump in. As you can see in here, basic settings in here for hands, controllers, and what we're going to do in this video is I'm just going to go to the shooting range and actually try and learn how to move, grab hold of the guns, pick them up, so forth, so forth. So here we are. This is where it puts us in this tent. And from looking around, oh, there's a helmet there. Waiting for host to start. Volk, Marsok. I don't know what else is in here. It's quite nice in here. Whoa. Whoa. Now I can tell you. They are very detailed. Good God. And what probably won't come across in the video is these things are one-to-one. -one. Those are the actual size of those weapons. You don't really get that feeling in a lot of games are in, but they do really do look nice. Right, Volk, what's this? Grab helmet. Um, let's go for the Marsock one. Let's grab that. Very nice, detailed, and realistically one-to-one -one sized as well. Let's just plonk that on my head. Okay, right, okay. Choose class. Rifleman, specialist, marksman. Now, usually I would go for the auto rifleman, if any of you know me, but I think in this video we'll probably go for... Um, let's just probably go for a basic rifleman, I think. Loadout 1, loadout 2. No idea difference what these are, whether you can save them. Let's just jump in. What's this? Primary. Oh, cool. Look at that. Look at that. That's... It's... Again, it may not come across, but that is really nicely detailed in VR. Almost, dare I say, almost feels like you could pick it up, you idiot. Right, oh, so we've got more than... Okay, we've got a few in here then. Look at that, nice. Uh, let's have a look. Org. I'm liking the look of that. Uh, what else? Red dot. Different sights, looks like. Suppressor. I don't want to suppress it on because I just love the sound. Uh, what's that? Full metal jacket, armor piercing. Don't know what the difference is between those. Well, obviously I do, but I don't know what the difference is in picking them now. Armor piercing, obviously we'll go through body armor. You may get less mags. Uh, what have we got over here? Explosives, smoke grenade, stun grenade. Okay, we'll go with smoke grenade. Uh, what else have we got? Secondary. So we've got uh, quite a lot of weapons in here, actually. Obviously, we're not on the Volk side. Night vision, syringes, smoke grenades, stun grenades. Let's go for body armor for now. Where was it? There we go. Right, confirm. Now what do I do? Start mission. Here we go. So let's jump in and uh, have a look at our first look at Onward. Virtual reality combat. Let's jump in. Right, so we're in. Wow, this is quite cool. Fucking hell, this is quite cool. It actually looks like that lamp is there right in front of me. And the guard tower and sandbags. This is quite cool, actually. And uh, another thing I know from VR videos that I've done on my channel, this netting is huge. It's probably not going to come across very well in VR again. The scale of things is where VR really does come into its own. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's on me, um, it's on me webbing. So you, it looks like your kit is actually a t Oh, that is awesome. That is cool. That is actually feels like, because of the controller, it feels like I'm actually gripping the org there. And if I bring my other hand up, which is we've now got hands, it will snap. Yeah, now that's one of the options. You can either click to hold or just actually bring it up. And if I bring that up to my shoulder, I can actually see through. Now, the problem we're going to get here is... 
because we're in VR, you're not going to be able to see through the sight as I can see through it because I'm looking through it with my right eye. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good indeed. As you can see the casings are actually hitting the floor over there. Right, in order to change the mag, I think I'll hold down the D-pad on the right mouse and then grab it with the... I think that's what we did. Is it down with it? The... There we go. And I can just drop that on the floor and get another one off my web in. Put that straight in. Now, is there a cocking handle on the org? Uh, he's trying to keep it granted in other games. It automatically does it for you. I presume, is it that? That can't be the cocking handle that large, surely, on the front. Is it? It bloody is. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it was. That's huge. I just see, well, there you go. I've learnt something today about the org. Yeah, that feels, it feels quite nice, actually. Obviously, the sensation of not actually having this in your hand is quite weird. There's no sense of weight to it. But I have seen people making um, rigs out of plumbing pipes and actually putting the controls into a makeshift rig. Looks ridiculous, but apparently in-game it really does feel like you're holding a weapon. So I may look into that. Who knows if any of you are interested. I could possibly uh, make one. Bit of a challenge. What's that there? Was that my laser? No, oh, I've got a laser sight as well. Which is probably going to be quite difficult due to the resolution in VR. Be able to use. But of course, we know in the game from looking at some footage, there is night vision. In my next one, we'll probably have a look at night vision before we jump into multiplayer. Just learning how to get used to all this. And here's our side arm. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. That feels quite good. And I'm actually aiming by looking not at the target. You actually look at the sights. You line the sights up and let the target be slightly out of focus. So I'm going to grab another clip down here. Let's put that in. And how do I cock it back? All right, deeper. Yeah, nice. Now, you can't hold the weapon. I know that with the sidearm at the same time. So I'm, whoa, it shot myself in the foot. <laughs> I need to learn some of these buttons. I'm going to kill myself in combat before I've even gone out on patrol. Right. So if I shoot myself in the hand... Let's just put another clip in. We do have a syringe. So, hang on. What am I doing wrong here? Clicky, clicky. I put a new one in, didn't I? New one in. Oh, you've got to cock it back yourself, have you? Do you know, I think I may need to recalibrate, actually, because the controllers are actually in the way. They're banging into each other and I'm trying to uh, cock that back. Right, I've shot myself in the hand. So now if I grab the, the syringe... No, not the org. I want the syringe, please. No, not the org. I want the syringe. No. Syringe, please. Fuck off. No, I can only grab it with one hand. Yeah, this is where I think I need to recalibrate a little bit um, with my room setting. It probably thinks, because th this body armour feels really high up here, it's probably uh, the height calibration with the room calibration is slightly off. Um... Or something like that I just haven't set up when I was jumping to this. As you can see, I can't quite grab that syringe. No, it's not going to let me. And I'm probably going to bleed out in a minute. Can I grab it with a hand? No. No. Mind you, we are in alpha. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a game issue. Because um, I'm trying to grab that smoke grenade as well. I can't actually grab that. I seem to be grabbing... Yeah, the weapon there. It's probably... Shoot myself in the face here. Jesus. It's probably a calibration system. So in the next video, I will get that sorted. Um, and we'll have a look at the um, the health system. If I can work out how you bloody do it. Shoot me first. So let's view myself in the face. Why not? And that character model on the floor looked quite nice. Right, so while we're here, come on. We can't leave. We're going to have to have a look at the saw. You all... Oh, look at that. PKM. What else have we got in here? Oh, loadout one, loadout two, then I get it now. So loadout one is going to be for uh, Markov, is it? Uh, Volk. Uh, and the other one is going to be for the Americans, so that's where you pick your kit up. So let's just have a look at the PKM. Jump in, and uh, here we are back on the range. Slightly different place by the looks of it. Whoa, that shit, that's huge! Oh, typical. Now I can get the bloody syringe. You fucking typical. That is one big beast. Right, I'm going to walk up to there. I'll talk about the movement system maybe in the next video. Now, do I have to... Basically, I have to lift this up. Then I have to... Bring the rounds up. 
place them in, lock it back down, and then I have to remove the cock it. Now you see there again, right? Now, currently, both my hands are banging into each other, the controllers, as I get halfway. So that's, it's definitely gonna, gonna be a, a calibration error on, on, on my behalf. Something I've done wrong. Um, there we go, hold that beast, and let's just see what this thing's like to fire. Probably an actual animal. Now again, you're not going to be able to see down the sight as I see down it. I'm actually aiming down the iron sights, but due to the way virtual reality works, you're really only seeing a mix of the two, whereas I can actually move, you know, and close one eye, which you do instinctively close one eye as you would realistically. Now, movement, you hold down the left, left arm pad, and where I point is where I go. And the harder I move up or press down, the faster I go. And you can strafe and move left and right. And you can also, if I hold the hand out a minute, yeah, just do a little bit of Rambo here. Never go full ruin time, man! Uh, yeah. So let's bring that up. And you can turn it by actually turning your hand, so I'm going to kneel. Whoa, I actually felt dizzy then. That, see, that is a, a side effect of virtual reality. When I knelt down then, I actually put my left hand out to touch the ground in front of me. That's when you know you're kind of Im immersed in virtual reality right now. So I don't know how I pull the pin on this. Uh, I can't do it. Because it's virtual reality and you have to pull the pin. Fucking knobhead. And that was the girliest of girliest throws ever. Do you know what I did then? I was actually scared I was going to clobber my own PC because I'm stood in front of my computer desk. That was that was a girly throw. I full, fully deserved to die. So what I'm going to do is, because I know people are going to want to have a look at it, let's just bring up uh, the L96. Let's bring up a uh, marksman rifle and just have a quick look before we end this video. 12 times scope on it, full grip, full metal jacket. Let's get in there. Let's pop some heads off like pineapples and coconuts. And I'll show you what a fucking boss I am. Come on, let's get in. I will be doing some multiplayer videos as well and giving you my thoughts and reviews on that for now. But this is just a first look, so I'm not going to uh, give you a review as such. Let's just walk up here. Again, I went to put my hand up for the sandbags. You're not bad. You're never going to learn. Holy shit, that thing's big. Innuendo joke, I'll leave it. And it looks like you actually physically have to chamber each round. So, all you pussy snipers out there, yeah? Things have got more difficult, now it's realistic for you. Right, let's bring this up. Holy shit, 12 times sight. That's <laughs> model-tastic. And do you know what would be perfect? If you could set up in your room some boxes or something at the same height as the average sandbags in this game, you could actually Rest your weapon. Yeah, it's a bit wobbly. But that is very cool, the fact that you have to actually chamber it. I got a little bit used to it. Again, it does feel like the uh, the calibration is slightly off at my end with the controls. Uh, but I am dying to put on the night vision and have a look at the uh, have a look at the quality on that. I'm sure it'll be more immersive because it lost a lot of the low, res low resolution that comes with this game. I don't just mean with the game, I mean with virtual reality in, in total, the, the resolution and everything else. Oh, there we go. Can I pick the syringe up? Can I pick the syringe up? There we go. So in order to put the syringe in, you actually stick the needle in, you press down on the D-pad and push with the left one. So it actually feels like you're pushing the needle in. There we go. That's quite cool. That is quite cool. Anyway, guys, this has just been a really quick first look at Onward. A, a 4v4 currently. In fact, before we go, you like this. That's my knife over my shoulder. In order to use it, you have to hold down the trigger so you don't cut yourself. In order to use my in-game combat radio, I hold up to my where my radio would be on my left shoulder, and I click. Isn't that awesome? So there we go. Yeah, as I mentioned, this is just a really quick in-depth 
not really in depth, but a quick overview look at Onward. I will be uh, having a look at some of the other weapons and giving you my thoughts on the game and the multiplayer. It's currently only 4v4, but the developer has said he wants to put this up to 8v8. And if it comes to the point where it's defender building or whether it's vehicles, possibly, who knows, then the future of this game is very bright indeed. It feels almost like insurgency. But I'll see you in another video coming real soon. I've been Paraplays, and this has been Onward. Bye-bye.